Good morning, Vietnam. Morning, morning again. <laughs> I'm good. I'm losing my patience with this router modem situation. I don't blame you. The good thing is when when we get the new one, I'm gonna teach this one how to fly. <laughs> That's the... So Rambo Mania Thon, my friend. Mm -mm -mm. It says my connection isn't optimal. This affects video call quality. Learn more. I don't want to learn more. I don't know what the problem is. Okay. Rambo Mania Thon. Rambo Mania Thon. We got some big guests for Rambo Mania Thon, my friend. You and me. And wait, you and me. Mickey's going to come on. Um, Mike Chapman, I believe, is coming on. Um, Wallace Lee is coming on. And cool. and I believe um, last night I talked to Brent, and Brent's coming on. Oh, I love talking. Yeah. So that's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. So it's going to be a long episode. Long. So when is this episode? Well, I'm going to use some of this that we're doing now. And I'm, I think I'm going to record most of the people separately. But with Brent, I would like to record them like with us and separately or either or whatever his uh, availability is so okay. he start collecting footage now and and when it comes time to to do the Rambo Maniathon we'll have everybody in one day that's, that's excellent yeah so that would be very cool yeah Yeah, so we're going to cover, like, <clears throat> um, Wallace Lee's uh, new short story. It's got this really cool Rambo short story where he adds Jimmy Lyle to the Rambo universe. The, the knife smith. That made all the Rambo knives. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. And he's gonna he's gonna be working on Mossman with us. So we can get some stuff out in, in Italy, because he's from Italy. So Yeah. Oh, man. That's going to be awesome. Jimmy Lyle. I think there's a PDF on my Facebook, actually. Hold on. I'm not sure if it's on my Facebook or where it is exactly or if it's on the Young Rambo uh, Facebook page. Hold on. I'll send you, I'll send you a link to his page. Always got like a production office for Rambo Five up there. A picture, a picture of the production office. I'll send you his link. send you the link for the Young Rambo page as well.
you can actually read the uh, the short story on that page. It's the first. Okay. It's the first uh, um, post. But bam. I'll be I'll be right back. I'm just gonna grab a drink. Still there? Oh, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Fuck. <coughs> Man. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, no problem. It always goes that way when you got when you got to do an important one, like an important uh -huh. video. It always messes up. Yeah. You should get Xfinity. <laughs> <laughs> So I caught the, uh, my buddy bought the Blu-ray for, uh, the original Expendables movie, the R-rated cut. Have you seen that? Unrated? Yeah. I saw some of it on, uh, on YouTube. Okay. Because they have, like... At first, I just thought it was, like, extra scenes, you know, because it, it, it was, like, uh, I think, like, 15, 20 minutes of extra scenes. So, at first, I thought it was just that, but I was like, okay, whatever, let's watch it, you know? So, we were watching it, because he didn't watch it yet, and uh, Stallone recut the whole fucking movie. So, it's, like, alternate yeah. takes the whole movie. Like, um, all the beats are faster. There's no paused beats, um, alternate shots, uh, alternate opening, alternate everything. It's just like, it's a completely different fucking movie. You know what scene I, I like that Stallone should have kept in the movie was the climax with the song Diamond Eyes. Mm-hmm. He should have kept that in the fucking movie. That was a theme song to the movie. He should have kept that in for in for that scene. That would have been badass in the theater. Yeah, I think the Diamond Eye scene is in the beginning of the movie, though. In the new cut. Yeah, I remember hearing it in the, during the climax at the end. And now, of course, it also plays again at the end credits uh, with the... I, I saw it on YouTube, uh, the director's cut. They, they mm -hmm. played it two times. One was uh, the climax and uh, the ending sequence. Mm -hmm. When they're riding off with and they're, and they're motorcycles. Yeah. It, it's cool. They got like a like a montage in the beginning when they're in the plane. <clears throat> that really, I saw that. Yeah. And you even see like the old dog tags with one of the dead expendables. They have like his, I think his name is Sam or something like they have him on there. It's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. I bet, uh, Sam, I bet that was like a, a homage to Sam Troutman because Richard Crenna died. I bet. Yeah. 
Oh, Richard Credo. Richard Credo. Oh, yeah. He's, he's kind of underrated. Mm hmm. Yeah, very despite underrated. The fact that he, despite the fact that he made it big with Rambo, but he he was known for other stuff. I remember he played, you know, what's interesting how Ray, Rambo was huge in the 80s and how Reagan kind of was huge at the time and how he, how he, uh, was, how he was a fan of Rambo. What's interesting that Richard Prenda played Reagan in a movie once, uh, the, the day Reagan was shot. That was the name of the movie. It was an H made for HBO movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he played Sweet. Reagan. Sweet. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was a good movie. I, I, just feel, I just feel like Prenda didn't really look the part, but he did good, you know? Yeah. I remember they did another Reagan movie with uh, James Brolin in the role of Reagan. He, he, he looked like Reagan, but... But Richard Crane, he just looked like Richard Crane. He didn't look like Reagan at all. <laughs> he just looked like Troutman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Troutman is Reagan. <laughs> oh, he was just so good. Like, every time I see that guy on screen, it's just like I'm so enveloped into looking, like, to just watch him act. Yeah, he was just, wow. It was just... Great. Of course, the other movie I know them for, uh, besides after, besides Rambo, after Rambo was a uh, Leviathan. He was the yeah, guy. yeah, the Doctor. Yeah, George Peacock's Miles directed that. That's why he put him in the movie because they did Rambo two together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like oh my god, that movie is great too. Leviathan is just like that. that wow. That's that's also underrated. Very underrated. Yeah. I'm happy because when, well, when we get to season three, which should be like, I don't know, five videos after this one, um, we're going to look at some of those alternate stories involving Troutman. We're going to look at some like um, Troutman's original uh, plot points for Rambo 3 and then how he came across in the novel and how he came across uh, in the movie. Awesome stuff with like Troutman. Oh, that be interesting. Yeah, Troutman has a daughter and Rambo's working at the UN and uh, it comes under terrorist attack and and, uh, and and Troutman's in the game too, you know. So... Troutman, Troutman's daughter, and Rambo. Or, or maybe it's his, Troutman's wife. It's either his wife or, his, or maybe both. I'm what not. book was this? Or was it a script? Or what, what was it? It was the first concept for Rambo 3. And, oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. Yeah, and, and um, yeah. they have a bit of it in the, um, in the David Morrell novelization for Rambo 3. They uh, talk about it, or he talks about it in the beginning of the book. I think he gives some some other uh, what could have been stories as well I think in there too. Yeah, so that's going to be cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's just sad because like I, I, I'm like going through these books and, and reading and seeing what they didn't use for Richard Crenna and it just it gets you because in your head, you can imagine, you can imagine Krenna, you know? So it's like, aw, oh, it's some really good stuff. Yeah. I remember hearing uh, for Rambo 4 after he died that they wanted to, re that they, that they wanted uh, Trapman in the movie, but they wanted a different actor. I heard it was, I heard it was, I heard a rumor that was going to be Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> Tommy Lee, <laughs> that would have been cool. But actually, I don't know. I, I like I, I I'm glad they went the way they did because I can't see anybody filling in. You know, it's like he's like irreplaceable. 